here's Stanley Roberts, who found some people behaving badly. If you ever have time, might I suggest you hang out near the Cutting Boulevard Rail Crossing in Richmond, where you might just see people snapping photos of their kids. Albeit, taking the photos on active railroad crossings. And when I mean active, I mean trains going by at speeds in excess of 70 miles an hour. So why is it not uncommon to see drivers stopped on these very same tracks? But what's even more disturbing? This AC transit bus, which is required by law to stop, look, and listen before crossing. A California stop for transit bus drivers carrying dozens of passengers, as far as I can tell, is not written in any driver's manual. I've covered this before at the very same crossing where it's all AC transit buses. But this time it's also Golden Gate transit buses. At least this one failed to stop, look, and listen at this crossing. Now, to be fair, there were some drivers that came to a brief stop, but for the most part, many just kind of rolled on through. Even this shuttle, which by definition is a bus, they are also required to stop. This is what happens when a train impacts a bus. This happened back in 2010 when an AC transit bus stalled on the tracks. Good thing the bus was empty. Bus drivers know they are required to stop at certain rail crossings, but many use the excuse they have a tight schedule to keep. I know for a fact that if an AC transit bus driver gets caught ignoring state law regarding rail crossings, it could be a job-changing experience. But to me, that's better than a life-changing experience of what could happen if a bus full of passengers gets struck. In Richmond, Stanley Roberts, Cron 4 News.